he overcame the world so we can know that if Jesus the son of man overcame it we can overcome it and he's given us the Holy Spirit to help us he's given us the blessing to help us he's given us these seven gifts to help us the power the wealth the wisdom the might the honor the glory and the blessing he's given that all to help us be victorious he's designed the church the whole church is designed to help us gain the victory every minister every pastor every leader in the church the whole church again i say is designed to help us children of god have the victory obtain the victory that's what it's for <laughs> That's why Father God says, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. But he, because he knows that when we assemble together, when we come together in unity, nothing can stop us. Remember that for the people on the earth, they were just the people on the earth. They came together. They set their mind together and built up this huge tower, reaching into the clouds. And Father God said, I have to stop them because... When they get like this, when they come together in unity and they work together as one, they can't be stopped. And so that's an example for us as the people of God. When we get together, when we come into unity, impossible becomes possible. You know, and through God, all things are possible. So he is that unifying factor. Jesus commanded us to become as one. He called us together. He called us together. That's why the Word of God tells us not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together. There's safety in our local churches. There's safety in being among the believers. We have each other's back. I know it doesn't feel like it or look like it all the time, but that's the way Father God built the church. That's why he calls us to unity continually, because there's safety there. So if you're not in a local church, I urge you, I charge you to get yourself down to the local church. You let God lead you, but you go. If you can't find one that you feel that God is leading you to, perhaps you need to go a little further. You do it to go to that shopping trip. You can do it to go to the house of the Lord. It's important. It doesn't benefit me, but it'll benefit you. And besides that, it's the command of the Lord. So obey the Lord and you get placed and plugged in a local church somewhere around you there's a body of believers that are waiting on you waiting on your input hurting for your input your talents your gifts your faith they're waiting on you so you go in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you go